Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're going to do Angelina Jordan, and she was 11 years old at this concert. Cover. It's Now or Never is the name of the song, and it's an Elvis cover. That's why I'm doing it, because of the trying to pay a little respect to Angelina and Elvis. Uh, Angelina's going to be playing two concerts on the 29th of February at the exact same hotel that Elvis did his comeback engagement with, and then he ended up staying there for eight years until he retired from music. Uh, and it was, uh, you know... Some of you know the story, some of you don't, but whatever the case might be, Elvis was uh, considered to be the king of rock and roll in particular, and <clears throat> he was a great one. And I, when I first heard where the concerts were going to be for Angelina, I, I wasn't too sure about that, but then I thought, you know what, it's actually perfect. Uh, Elvis ended his career there, he retired, and then Angelina now, is, as an adult, is starting her career. The same place that Elvis finished up, same building. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and listen to Angelina sing. Why not, right? That's why we're here. job I mean this whole this is the type of song this is not a rah-rah song this is a very smooth easy listening uh, just a beautiful song and 
what a job she did. And she's got the backup choir and uh, all that, and quite a, quite a large group of audience, too. So, yeah, beautiful, beautifully done, Angelina. Couldn't ask for more. I'm going to try to put up an Elvis video doing the same song again. I don't consider it to be a comparison. Who was better? They're both the best. There's never going to be another Elvis. There's never going to be another Angelina. They're totally unique uh, uh, artists in, in their own thing, okay? So, yeah, there's no there's no real... You can have a preference. You know, that's, that's your choice, of course, uh, which one you like better for whatever reason. I know me, I'm a biased Angelina fan. Uh, I used to listen to Elvis' music, uh, and, hey, he was great for a lot of reasons. I like to say about Elvis, Elvis was a... Along with being a, a really great singer, he was also a performer. And uh, he was, he, he put on a show, he was a showman, okay? So there's that. That's a different element, you know, and, and Elvis did that. I just got done putting up earlier t tonight the uh, Suspicious Minds when Elvis made his return in 1969 uh, with the white jumpsuit on. Some people consider that to be probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, live performance by any entertainer ever. So a lot of people say that. Uh, I've heard, I see a lot of comments about it, and I, you know, I, I, I can't disagree. He was, he was a great performer, great showman. He had a lot of charisma. He had a great stage presence, you know. And Angelina's got all that too. She doesn't have the performer, the acrobatic kind, of not acrobatic, but. Uh, I don't know what do you call it, very dramatic movements and stuff like that. Angelina goes out and loves to sing. It's apparent she loves to sing. She shows us she loves to sing. She loves to sing for an audience. And it's all there. You can see it all, you know. And then Angelina infuses the songs with that sort of energy, the love and all that. You know, it's, it's a whole different feel than Elvis with his high energy when you're watching the theatrics, okay, especially near the end, uh, just totally, you know, it, it's mesmerizing to watch him perform. It is. It's also mesmerizing to watch Angelina perform, but it's different. It's apples and oranges. It's two different types of performance. Hers is, you're, you're almost in awe that 11-year-old girls can sing like this, okay? You just, you're just amazed at that alone. You know, forget the fact that she's comfortable on the stage. She seems to be fully confident. Not, not even confident. She just, that's her home. She goes out there. She's home. You know, it's like being in her living room. And she just, you'll notice when she's singing that she looks around a lot. She smiles a lot at the crowd. Uh, I don't think in this one she waved at people, but a lot of times she'll wave to a lot of the audience people, you know, things like that. She just, she's in her element, man. She is not uncomfortable, not one bit, being on stage, okay? Never has been. Probably, I would assume, never would be at this point. So let me end my, uh, my ranting and raving. I think that's probably enough of that for tonight. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.